And now it's time for another Board Game Brawl unboxing with Nick Minahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. Hey peeps, today we're going to do an unboxing, but it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to bust open all of the compartments on the Brett Spiel Advance Calendar 2015. This company, Frosted Games, produces this thing. And just a little bit of a backstory. Well, I'm okay, I'm not going to give you the backstory of Advent. You can Wikipedia that, but essentially it's a Christian uh, period of time leading up to Christmas. And what happens is there's a tradition of having an Advent calendar, a traditional one, where you would just pop open these little compartments that might have like candy or little missives or something like that inside. Now, what this is, is a collection of small promo expansions for a variety of different games. There there's uh, 24 compartments here, and uh, there's artwork on the box that sort of hints at what the different games are that are involved, although I don't see explicitly anywhere where it says that. It's all in German anyways, but there's also all the companies on the back, so that gives you another hint as to what games are going to be involved, potentially. Um, it's super light, <laughs> even when it was... I, I've, already un, I've already filmed the uh, uncompartmenting but um, even when it was full, it was super duper light because it's just a bunch of like uh, a, a cardboard tiles and a few cards. That's basically all that there is. And the whole point of an advent calendar or the board gaming advent calendar is that every day during advent, you pop open one of them in order see what it is. You don't open any of the other ones until you get to the next day. That's a tradition anyways. And in fact, there are at least a couple of other people on YouTube who are doing that with their uh, Brett Spiel Advent Calendar, which you can buy on Board Game Geek, by the way, for $60, which is quite a lot. Uh, so there are people that are doing the day-by-day -day thing. I ain't got time for that. I also don't celebrate Advent. I'm not religious. So I'm just going to pop open everything. Because there's also, uh, I, I know, and I now know for sure, there were some expansions that I wanted to use right away for certain games. So I was like, well, <laughs> I'm busting this sucker open. And I think that uh, if you want to do the whole day-by-day -day thing, it's kind of late at this point, even if you order now to get the advent calendar in time to do that sort of thing and with any to, for any of them. Uh, or maybe you'll just start late. Whatever. That's fine. But I also want to help inform people who just want to know, hey... I like the idea of buying a bunch of expansions all at once, small expansions, uh, but I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use any of these, if they're for any kind of games that I own, so I'm trying to be at least informative here as well. So I'm going to pop open everything, you'll see everything involved. During the filming, I actually done, did not know <laughs> what many of the expansions were for, because for whatever reason, it doesn't list what the game is on some of the cardboard sprues and cutouts. So I'm like, well, okay, I don't know what that is. I've never played that game. I'm going to try to get that information and flash it on the screen whenever I don't know. Some of the things I do know, and I'll let you know, and some of them I, I know what game they're for, but I don't know what the uh, what they do. So you'll have to do some research, but hopefully this will give you at least a general idea of whether you want to pick this up or not. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing, uncompartmenting. Um, happy holidays, whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope you're having a good holiday season. Take care. All right, so let's dig into this. This is the box for the Brett Spiel Advent Calendar. Uh, we'll get back to that in a second, but you see here's all the different... Uh, it's very, very light. I mean, super duper light. Uh, on the back here is all the different publishers who are involved with the calendar. Uh, and then on back, going back to the front, you see all the different uh, little clues as to which games are going to be involved with this particular artist's style. Uh, and, you know, I'll kind of leave it up to you. I'm not going to... Some of them I can point out right away. Obviously, that's Hawkeye. So, you know, there's some sort of Dice Masters promo. Um, I just think this is from the game Tarji. This is from uh, Looney Quest. Um, hoping that's Takenoko, but I'm not entirely sure. That looks like Rococo. Uh, let's see. This one here. I know what this is supposed to be from Abyss, but it doesn't really do much for me as far as the uh, quality of the artwork there. That is Orleans, which I am super excited about. And some of these I can only make haphazard guesses at, and I'm not entirely sure, so I'm not going to bother. But in any event, let's go ahead and dig right into this. I will give you one last warning, even though I know I said this during the intro. I'm opening them all. That's it. I mean, if you're really interested in this as a piece to like open day by day, even though it's super late to do that, do not keep watching or at least just like watch a little bit and then when I finish with one stop and then come back or something like that but I'm going to open them from one all the way up to 24 so here we go let's see if I can do this all right so this one is for Catan so this is Settlers of Catan which is 
means I'm probably going to give this away to someone else who actually plays and owns Catan. But there's Santa Claus and a bunch of different little, uh, I guess it's supposed to be like gifts that Santa gives in the Santa tile. That's cute. I'm, like I said, I'm never ever going to use it, but there you go. So, two is all the way up in this corner. So let's do that. I'm hoping, I don't know if the picture is, no, the pictures don't seem like they match up at all to the actual location. So let's dig into this. Uh, oh, I guess it's supposed to be like this. Okay, cool. Probably going to damage one at some point. This is... I have no idea. I legit don't know. Like I said in my intro, I'm not always going to be able to point out what these are. But it looks interesting. It looks like a boring Euro game. There you go. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and go to... Number three. This is for... That looks like a Colt Express card. I wonder if I, and I don't think if I opened up that other one, it would help at all. But this one, I know from the borders, it, yeah. That's a Colt Express card, with little elves and things. Let's focus on that a bit. I wish I still liked, I didn't actually like Colt Express that much to begin with, but I'm sure someone in my group has that and would appreciate that. Uh, in the true spirit of Christmas, I'll be giving away all the ones I don't actually have any, uh, uh, use for. All right, let's go to uh, three. Where's three? I'm looking for three. Anybody got three? Three, three. Uh, really? Hmm, this is kind of hard to find. Oh, that was three. I'm sorry. Duh. I'm stupid. Oh, never mind. This is. Well, that is Las Vegas, right? The game Las Vegas. Yes. Okay. Huh. There's actually. None of these have rules in the packages, right? I guess you saw. Let's look online, or maybe there's a. A bigger compartment here with the rules. I don't know. All right, whatever. Again, another game that I'm not that interested in. Let's see, I'm just looking for the games that I'm super interested in. Let's get to those. All right, this is for Bonanza. Don't care about that either. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We're six, 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 six. Six is up here in the corner. Boom. All right, Looney Quest. Now that I am interested in because I like Looney Quest a lot. I have it on my shelf. Uh, these are like little elf things. Oh, there's another, a new character um, tile. So this is a new character that you can be, a little uh, blue elf and some crazy uh, elf negative effects, I'm going to guess. Neato. I'll have to look those up and see what they do. I like Looney Quest. i got to review that one of these days. Better version of Doodle Quest. Uh, that's unfortunately really hard to get here in the States, unfortunately. I'll tell you that now. You have to import it. So here's number seven. Number seven is... What the hell? I don't know. Let's open this sucker up somehow. This is... Still don't know. But as I said in the intro, I'll put... Uh, over these, I'll do some research and find out what they actually are, hopefully. But it seems interesting enough. And what were that was seven, so now we're gonna find eight. Eight is eight is Rokoko. Now Rokoko is a game that I have on my shelf that I have not got around to playing yet, but I am actually quite eager to try. Seems like it would be my kind of Euro game, and I have no problem with the theme of making dresses. I think that's fairly interesting, because I am secure in my masculinity. Uh, that's cool to have. I'll probably hold on to that one for the game. And we have Zularetto. I never actually played Zularetto, which probably sounds like sacrilege, because it is a the stink tier. <laughs> you know how many times you and the family are driving down the road and say, Ah, oh, oh, stink tier! Or skunk, as the case may be. One day I will actually try Zularetto, and I might actually enjoy it. Who knows? Uh, number 10, I'm looking around for you. Where is number 10? This is one of those blatantly, there it is, down here in the bottom corner. This is, oh, there you go, Orleans. This is what I want. Boom, sucker. Are they all Christmas themed? Let's take a look. It's in uh, the language I don't understand. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to look. It involves dice. That's cool. <laughs> I can't wait. And uh, 20 coins, or 20 coin pieces, well, I'm using the uh, the metal coins from the deluxe version, so it won't, that won't have any use for me. But hey, a new tile, I honestly, I, I love Orleans, I, my review of it just went up uh, a couple days before this, 
I cannot wait to try out another new tile. Cool. First thing I'm super duper excited for, uh, other than Looney Quest. All right, that was number 10. Let's go to number 11. Where are you, 11? Again, I feel like these things. There it goes. Right at the top here. Let's get this. I'll have to move the camera finally. All right, so number 11 is up here. This is... What is that? I don't know. I don't know what this one is. I will have to do some research and flash the name of it. Sorry about that. No indication, huh? No. Uh, let's see. Number 12. It's right next to it. Number 12 is... That looks familiar to me. But I still don't know. So. Don't know. Uh, <laughs> just waiting for people to get angry at me throwing this stuff around. Uh, number 13 is down here. Here's number 13. This. Ah, Abyss. New monsters. Is that all they really are? Monsters? What? Oh, I see. Cool. So is that other stuff there? No. I thought, I, I thought there was a card. There might be more than one for the same game. But anyways. Yeah, those are... Uh, Monsters that give you keys. That's a cool thing. That's a really cool thing, actually. Formerly, the monsters just gave you points. Ah, nice, nice, nice. I like that. I like that. Tiny little change. Uh, let's see, number 14. But I love Abyss. Abyss is a fantastic game. In my top 100. Abyss, uh, let's see, number 14 is up here. This is for Viva Java. The coffee game, I presume. Uh, not the coffee, the, not the coffee dice game, which is unfortunate because that's the only one I own. Although I haven't played it yet, but uh, I don't know. I've been interested in trying that game, so maybe one day I might hold on to that one. Uh, number fifteen is here, smaller one. This is what is that? I don't know what that is. That's worthy of. Well, it looks like it's just several cards. Let's take that out and see what we got here. Oh, that is Wizard? That must be some sort of trick-taking game I'm, I'm unaware of. Oh, neat. Is that Krampus? Good artwork. I like it. All right, so there's that. And that was number 15. So I think we're on to 16 here. There's 16. Let's focus a bit more there. Number 16 is... Sorry. Two at the same time, apparently. Splendor! Okay, I still like Splendor. It's not in my top 100, but I still dig it. So, uh, yeah, alright, cool. New tile. New uh, little prestige or noble tile to gather for. Nice. Just crushed those Christina cards from a second ago. Alright, 17. We're up to 18. 18. No, uh, 17. Yeah, we're on 17. So, here we go. This is Cacao. I've been interested in Cacao. I may have to try that at some point. Looks like some more tiles for that. Uh, yeah, I've always kind of been on the fence about picking that one up. But I've heard very good things. Uh, 18 is all the way up here in the top corner on the Looney Quest picture. And this is for... Hold on. Oh, Zong Glau. I have Zong Glau sitting in my to-be-played shelf. Uh, so, yeah, that's that'll be neat to have if I enjoy the game. <laughs> Let's hope. Fingers crossed. 19 is down here in the bottom corner. Let's bust that sucker open. That is, there we go, Hawkeye. Uh, now I wonder if this is just alternate artwork or a completely different card. Let's focus a bit here. Hide and fall, head and fail. I'll never know because it's in different text, but I like the artwork. That's something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with these things. If only they had made them in English, I suppose, but they would kind of ruin the speciality of it, I suppose. Uh, then up here is uh, number 20. Which I haven't oh, I accidentally opened, but haven't looked in yet. That is that's Castles of Burgundy, right? If I'm not mistaken. Multicolored locations. That's a neat idea. Or multi-terrain locations. Huh. Interesting. I've been toying with the idea of finally picking up my own copy of Castles. I dig it. It's a good game. Kind of dry, but uh, let me see. Where are we at? Number twenty-one is over here. I don't expect anything else that's going to blow my mind, but I'd like to be surprised. I have... Hold on a second. I'm looking at it closer. I don't know. Moo Moo Forage. I don't know what that's for. I do not know. Uh, let's see. 22 is right here. 
number 22 is for Isle of Sky. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Isle of Sky is a game that I own. I haven't played my own copy yet. I've played someone else's, and I kind of enjoyed it. It was, it was all right. got to play it again, sort of clarify my thoughts before I ever do a review on it, and it's not near my top of priorities, but it's cool to have some more promos for it, so that's enjoyable. I'm getting more bang for my buck out of this than I would have expected, to be honest. Uh, so that was number 22. Now we're going to look for 23. That is back down here. I think this only goes to 24, so we're getting near the end here. Up, oh, big one. This is... I don't know. Carcassonne. Yeah, okay. Someone's getting this, or maybe I'll just throw it in the garbage. I do not like Carcassonne. It's one version of Carcassonne. I don't like any of the versions of Carcassonne. And then finally, I believe, is for Funkenschlag, otherwise known as Power Grid. Another game I don't really like. But I like it better than Carcassonne, at least. And I think, unless I missed any, that is it. I think so. Let me see. No, that's it. I mean, there's no 25, right? I wonder if there's like a hidden one. Well, I don't know about. That's interesting. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see if I can tear this sucker open. Nope. That's it. That's that. That is all of it. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of cheat sheet other than you can look at the companies and kind of guess and see what's from what. But I think I'll just look online and hope that some other people have ripped the whole thing open and given spoilers as well. So that is the Brett Spiel Advent Calendar for 2015. Lots and lots of promos. More than I thought I'd get any use out of. Hopefully you agree or not, but at least you are now informed. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. BoardGameBliss.com. Thanks for your support.